Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the contents of City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Alexandra Biston. Mayor Pro Tem Olivia Valentine introduced Phantom Gallery LA curator Gloria Placencia to discuss how thankful they are to be a part of the Hawthorne community and to invite Hawthorne residents to a few new exhibitions that will be on display at their gallery. Phantom Galleries is an organization that supports art in the community. For more information on these exhibits, please visit phantomgalleriesla.com. A certificate of recognition was then presented to the AYSO boys soccer team who won the All-Star Western State Championship. SPCA LA announced that they are looking for people to adopt cats and dogs from their Hawthorne shelter and for the month of May all military members can adopt for free. For more information on how to adopt, please visit spcala.com. The Phi Beta Sigma fraternity was presented with a certificate of recognition from the city as a thank you for providing them with VITA program to city residents during tax season. The VITA program allows low income residents to complete a free tax return. The Boy Scouts of America then proclaimed the Los Angeles Area Council's 100th anniversary. For the resolution portion of the meeting, Resolution 7705 approved the Memorandum of Understanding between the City of Hawthorne and the Hawthorne Executive Group effective July 1, 2014 through June 30, 2016. The city is now in its first steps to remove weed and trash on private properties. Resolution number 7715 approved the first step in the annual weed abatement assessment process. There will be a public hearing on May 26 at 6 p.m. regarding this assessment. Resolution number 7717 agrees with the city's requirement to give notice of all general municipal election to select a mayor and two council members. Director of Finance Ricky Manbohal presented Resolution 7719, which amends the city's current reimbursement policy for travel, meal, lodge, and more. Resolution 7722 proclaimed May 7, 2015 as National Day of Prayer. During the city manager's consent calendar, the council was presented with a quarterly investment report ending March 31, 2015. Done this report pass. indicates the cash uh, and investments held by the city and, and also the rate of return on investments. The finance director also presented the council with an unaudited financial report for review and consideration. This statement reflects the city of Hawthorne's general fund cash position and compares actual receipts and disbursements for the period of January 1, 2015 through March 31, 2015. The council then moved to approve progress payment number two to Zoomer Industries Incorporated to supply signage and hardware. This includes signage for parking restrictions, directional traffic markings, and associated hardware and accessories. This is the first year of a three-year contract with Zoomer Industries Incorporated. Residents will continue to see a decrease in graffiti as the city will now purchase two new graffiti trucks. These new trucks will replace two older units which have reached close to 100,000 miles. These units are at a point where they pose a risk to safety of employees as well as the public. The new F-350s will come from South Bay Lincoln Ford. The city will undergo new street improvements with the approval of the MTA Call for Projects Highway Grant Program. This grant of over $3.8 million will go towards making enhancements to improve traffic flow, increase pedestrian safety, improve the efficiency of public transit use, and install a bicycle route and amenities. This will help support alternatives to single occupant travel. The project limit is El Segundo Boulevard from Hawthorne Boulevard to Crenshaw Boulevard. Progress payment number four was approved by the council to Martinez Landscape Company. This progress payment also includes planting new trees, shrubs, and grading, landscaping and removing, and installing a new irrigation system on Hawthorne Boulevard. On September 25, 2007, the City Council approved Resolution 7123, allowing the Prestige Villas Project, a 116 detached single-family dwelling, to proceed on the eight-acre site of the former RFK Hospital. At this time, Council approved a subdivision improvement agreement in order to protect the City from a lawsuit if the developer fails to preserve access to a major sewer line under the property. The council approved authorizing the mayor to execute the Eighth Amendment to the franchise agreement for all residential, commercial and roll-off refuse collection and disposal services between the City of Hawthorne and Allied Waste Services. 
Human Resources Director David Roberts will continue to be the sole chief labor negotiator for the City of Hawthorne's Police Officers Association. The council felt that he was more than capable to continue this task by himself instead of appointing a co-chief negotiator. The City Council received a preliminary budget from the City Manager and Finance Director. The City of Hawthorne Municipal Code requires that the annual budget be submitted to the City Council before June 15, 2015. A public hearing for the budget is scheduled for May 26, 2015 and budget adoption is tentatively scheduled for June 9, 2015. During the city attorney's consent calendar as a result of the encounter on September 12, 2014 between claimant's husband, Hector Bear, and members of the Hawthorne Police Department, claimant alleges that the city unjustifiably contributed to Mr. Bear's death. The city council denied the claim. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch city council meetings in their entirety by going to www.cityofhawthorne.org forward slash council videos. See you next time.